Simon, really appreciate you talking to us for an episode of My Club, My Town. And this one's in line with uh, Volunteer Day, which falls uh, coming well next week. Um, but why don't we start with you as a, as a supporter of the club and how you became a fan of, of Ipswich Town? So my first game here was back in 1981. Uh, came here and saw Tottenham uh, with my dad. Um, my dad was a big, big Ipswich fan. Um, I wanted to become an Ipswich fan, but for the first year of going to live football, I was made to go up the road to Colchester. Um, but after one game there, um, badgering me parents, I was told to take you to Ipswich and I've never looked back since. So you say that the first game was Tottenham and, and who are some of the players that you really took a liking to back when you were a young fan? Um, probably over the years, my biggest uh, all-time sort of uh, player mm. would be Craig Forrest. I was a goalkeeper when, when I used to play at school, etc. So really sort of wanted to almost pretend that I was Craig Forrest. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, Craig was brilliant and I was lucky enough to get to meet him when he was here as well, mm. um, have some photos which I've still got at home, so sort of a cherished memory, if you like. Yeah, you say that you've never looked back. You are still a season ticket holder. You come, you're in your seat at the moment. What do you enjoy about match days right now? Um, I absolutely love match days. I mean, it's been a roller coaster ride since being a fan, ups and downs, etc. but you know, yeah, as you say, I'm in my season ticket seat um, for 20, 20, 25 years. My dad sat beside me, so we've had some fantastic memories here, watching games on the pitch, but sharing memories as well. And mm. I think that's one of the special things for me that's been here. Mm. But I love the match day experience. I mean, uh, you know, I've got a whole group of people around me which have been here for a long while. Um, we all, we, we're like a match day family almost and you know it's just brilliant the, to see the club now the way it's gone through the years and now with the new ownership mark kieran coming in it's as as mark says the 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 ceiling's just you yeah. know there's no there's no thing on it and i really think that special things are happening here now and i'm proud to be a part of it as a fan and you know, involved in the club as well. Yeah, and on that involvement, as we say, a volunteer day, you, you talk about your match day family and your seats, but you have a match day family before as well with your position. Tell us a little bit about that and when you got involved. Okay, so I first got involved in the match day role in 2015. Um, prior to that, and still, I was doing birthday party, hosting birthday parties down here, and also one of the stadium tour guides. And I was approached and asked about joining the Junior Blues to help on a match day, mm. and that's been absolutely fantastic. I've absolutely loved it. We've got a great team of people, and whilst I'm doing this interview today, I'd say I'm doing it on behalf of the team because it's not just about one individual; it's about a whole group of us, and without. Mm all of us together, it wouldn't work on a match day. Yeah. Everybody's got to be involved for it to work. It sounds like you've obviously got a great relationship with the club, but also your your role. And what does that mean to you being involved in that sense? You know, not just coming to the games, but you have an active role on a match day. It's, it's really important. It's it, for me being involved on a match day and doing what I do with the juniors. It's an opportunity to put back, as we've just spoken about, like, being a fan, coming along with dad, etc. Yeah. It's an opportunity now to put back into the club the fun and enjoyment that I've had in Ipswich Town and to see the children's faces when they turn up, meet their favourite player, walking around the club, then walking ultimately out the tunnel. Just to see those smiles on their faces and how much it means to them and then even now, sometimes on match days, you've got kids coming up to you which have been mascots, etc. Mm. And, you know, to see them in their town kit, season ticket holders perhaps coming along with their parents is the fans and lifeblood of the future. And it's just fantastic to feel that I've had a part to play in that. Vic, thanks for talking to us. We've spoken to Simon on uh, for this feature of My Club, My Town. And let's hear a little bit about how you became a fan of the club as well. Oh, gosh. So I've been supporting the club since I can remember, I've had a season ticket since I was six um, and had a season ticket throughout that whole time and then just lucky enough to, to get a volunteering role for my work experience placement when I was 15, um, which was 24 years ago, would you believe? Um, so I've been part of the club for 24 years, but a, a lifelong fan, which mm. is just an absolute pleasure to, to do both. 
as a fan of the club, what does it also mean to have that involvement, as you say? Oh, God, amazing. It's absolutely amazing to, to be involved with the club like that. Um, to see all the backstage stuff, the, the behind the scenes stuff is, is absolutely awesome. Um, so it's a it's a privilege, if anything, you know, to get to work with people like yourselves, the, the behind the scenes team, the players. Um, and to do what I do is just it's just a privilege every Saturday. What are some of the things you mentioned on Saturday there, but also a Tuesday? Or yeah. this, is, this one's being filmed ahead of Fleetwood on a yeah. Friday, but what are some, some of the things that you like about a match day? I think what I love about it is, is, is the children. Um, you know, by, by day I work at a high school anyway. Um, and, and it's for me, it's, it's seeing the experiences that the children get from being involved with the club and being involved with, with Junior Blues. Mm. Um, you know, they get to meet their, their players. Um, it's their little faces. You know, it's, it's a once a lifetime opportunity for some of these children. And it's just lovely to see what they get out of it. Mm. As it's volunteer day as well, how important are, are people like you and, and those that give up their time and also have that engagement and involvement with the club? Oh God, I would say massive. Uh, you know, I think from a volunteer's point of view, it's it's wonderful to be part of the club, and mm. to, and as I said earlier on, to, it's a privilege to be part of the club. But also, it's it's also. Um, well, oh, God, it's just lovely. I, 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 it's a privilege to come down here. I keep using yeah. the word privilege, but it really is a privilege to come down here um, and to be part of such a great team. It's Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And I think I'd, I'd do it all over again. If you know, if I had my time again, I'd, I'd volunteer again and do it all over again because yeah. I get so much out of it and enjoy so much out of it. But I also see what people get out of me supporting them. You have your involvement before the game uh, and your match day role, but also what do you enjoy about just coming to Portman Road and then where do you watch the game from? Oh, so I've got a season ticket up in Sir Ralph Ramsey. Um, I've, I've sat there for many, many years. Um, it's just the atmosphere, isn't it? I've, I come with the uh, with some friends who are, are lifelong friends. They're, they're family friends. And I've been coming with them, as I say, since I was six years old. Um, we've, we've all been coming together. It's like a little Ipswich Town family. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just the atmosphere of the club. And from the moment you walk through those gates, um, y you're part of the club. You know, whether you're here volunteering or working or just here as a fan, it just it's just a feel-good atmosphere. You're just part of that, that, that feel-good feeling.